All right, hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, in today's video, I wanted to do, um, to test out Storm, uh, my 7-star rank 2 Storm. Uh, as you can see, she is, well, not the Relic, no, we don't want the Relic. Um, as you can see, she's SIG level 40. Right, so she's not, she's not going to be amazing. Um, I think her signature ability uh, basically just increases her shock potency. That That's pretty much it. Oh, and she gets a prowess buff um, when activating a special per level of her special attack. So, I mean, it's not crazy. It helps, but what helps the most is getting crits. And my luck with crits, if you've if you've seen my channel, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome, by the way. Um, but if if you've seen my my previous streams and I've used Storm, you you will see that I just I, I don't get crits. It's just it doesn't happen. It's not a thing <laughs> um, on this channel. I don't really know why. Um, I mean, I think it's because the greater crit chance, um, like the greater precision one, in in the mastery setup isn't maxed. It's like two out of three or something, and apparently that makes all the world of difference according according to uh, uh, some of my viewers. But I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, oh, even if it's one out of three, still it's it's still anyway. Um, so we're gonna go in with the apocalypse energy. I can do a video with just normal storm if you guys want. Um, but we're going to go in with the Apocalypse Energy because I think it'll be fun. Um, and we'll see we'll see how we do. So we're just going into Realm of Legends. I don't think it'll be worth going into Labyrinth of Legends. I, again, that's another thing I could do. I could go into Labyrinth. But um, the first fight against, what is it, Red Hulk is going to be a pain. Um, and then she's got class disadvantage on uh, Star Lord. Not to mention the fact that I cannot remember which path um, each one is on. So that that's <laughs> not, not ideal, right? Um, also... A, by the way, another like disclaimer: she's not boosted. This isn't this isn't like a boosted video. Uh, we've just got the Saga Champion boost, and she's not a Saga Champion, so it doesn't count. Um, she doesn't count for the for the boost. And also, I'm recording on OBS. I think I'll just if I do stream MCOC, it will just be back on OBS now um, because uh, Streamlabs seems to mess with my laptop for some reason. Um, not entirely sure why, but. It, it just does um, whenever I use my webcam so anyway so let's go into this okay so we're gonna I, th I think the aim is to get him as low as possible in terms of his, his power so let's get him to use this nice let's chuck this off oh there's a crit okay yeah when she does crit it's very nice I will say, I will say it's very nice. Especially the uh, the special 2 damage. Does this just kill? So 220... <laughs> 223k damage is um, apparently just casual um, with, the, <laughs> with the Apocalypse Energy. Because um, obviously you got that massive like prowess at the beginning. It doesn't say on the on the free fight screen, but she gets she has the massive like prowess buff, the the passive prowess that you see when I enter the fight. This one here, so um that's obviously helping. But the fact she stacked prowess as well, wow, she's getting stacked like crazy. Okay, so let's just do this. Got the triple crit again. This is very rare, by the way. I get this lucky. Okay, we didn't get the additional. There we go. That was risky. 29 prowess, by the way. Tw <laughs> 29 prowess, by the way. Um, so, yeah, that's very nice. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, so those two fights, okay, the first one was um, class advantage, right? Second one, uh, class neutral, I guess you could call it. And uh, pretty much the same result. I mean, you use the special one um, and you could constantly keep chaining heavies until um, they die from the shock damage, which is just going to constantly keep building, by the way. And it gets refreshed because of the, the uh, horseman synergy. So you've either got constant shock or you just build up enough prowess that a special two just kills. Um, and it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter if she's got class advantage or not. Which is, again, which is just crazy. Um, 
But uh, I guess it also does depend on RNG, right? If you're if you're using the special two, you want the crit, or you want at least one crit. Uh, this is going to be a slow matchup, unfortunately, because Juggernaut and his unstoppables. Yep. So we can't build prowess as quickly as I'd want to, but we can build the shocks. Ah, there we go. Can I... Can I risk this? Yep. Yes, I can. Just about. Come on. <laughs> but you see the, the shock, right? 5k per tick. And there's special 2. Yeah, that finishes it off. So yeah, 5k per tick, so 10k per second is pretty nice. That was, with, I think it was with 10 shots or something. Um, and obviously she can just infinitely stack, so it just gets like more and more powerful as the fight goes on. Um, as long as you're able to maintain them with the AOV. Um, but yeah, Jugg Juggernaut's not an ideal matchup. He never is. I don't know why I did a heavy there. Um, just because he just slows your pace down. Like, Storm seems to be the kind of champion that like it's quite fast paced to like keep up the, the shocks and if you don't do that then like you lose the shocks you lose your prowess and you lose all your damage so it's not ideal so you want the ai to either play into your hands or not have unstoppable basically But these are like Realm of Legends opponents. By the way, I've taken no damage. And I know like with the Horseman Synergy you take reduced damage. Zero crits there, that's more like it. Uh, you take reduced damage when you've got the Unstoppable, right? But um, still, it's, it's, she's, she's tanking it pretty well. But considering she's a mutant, and most mutants have like very low like um, defense and like health points, it's, it's interesting to see a seven star mutant be as tanky as she's being right now. <laughs> but uh, like I said, she does have the horseman synergy. Anyway, so we're not going to be able to rely on the shocks here. Not that we have done, to be fair. I mean, it's, uh, the prowess from the... Um, to the, hit there. the prowess from the horseman synergy is putting in work. Like... Let's just use that to pause them. Okay, let's go. Let's see. 56k. Okay, we didn't get the crit, unfortunately. But yeah, the prowess just gets ridiculous. And then obviously, um, I'm using the Mr. Sinister Relic on her because every time she gets uh, a bleed on her... Don't put 31k. Um, <laughs> every time she gets a bleed on her, she gains two prowess. Um, Oh, well, I think it's just a, a debuff that she's immune to or something. Um, I think if she gets a shock, she's immune to, then she might get a prowess. Let me let's, let me let me let me check that. Let me check that. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so she purifies. She she turns a, a stun on a skill opponent to a passive stun if it's purified. Um, and then, yeah, so she gains a bleed effect, she gains two prowess buffs, if the opponent uh, purifies the debuff, she also gains two prowess buffs, um, and each time either champion lands a hit, she gets one prowess buff. Um, and there we go, yeah, so it's, it, it is the same as well with the with the shock, if, if um, her immunity prevents a shock, which it will do, because it's shock immunity, um, she gets two prowess buffs as well, so it's, it's her, basically, her, all of her damage comes from her special attacks and her crits, um, and if you're using the Horseman Synergy, I guess the other source of damage is going to be your shocks. Um, but it, it doesn't mean that in a shock immune matchup she's completely irrelevant, because she really isn't. Um, she's also really, really good for the, um, the 8.4 final boss. 
I forget I forget the name. Like the armor or something, so let me know if you want to see a, a video of me taking him out and like, doing a one-shot. We just, we just stack these up. That's her only issue. Uh, heavy attack um, has no reach. So. Even the special three does a lot of damage. Okay, let's refresh those. She does have class disadvantage here, and I didn't. I messed up the rotation. But, I mean, how many hits was that? 55. 55 hits isn't bad, especially when class disadvantage, right? Um, so yeah, she's just. She just destroys. She absolutely destroys. She doesn't need the whole team synergy. I've just put it put it there just to try and max out her damage. But um, I'm I'm pretty sure she'll also have a synergy with uh, Storm Pyramid X, who I also have as a seven star. Uh, she's not awakened though. Very nice. So yeah, um, it's kind of an Archangel sort of mechanic, if you want to think of it that way, in the sense that like, it's it's slightly different because Archangel applies the debuffs on his heavy attacks and then turns them into a passive Neurotoxin, which reduces ability accuracy and also does bleed and, po uh, bleed and poison damage, right, um, in one go. So it does more than what, what Storm's ability does, but she has to use her special one and then just keep it refreshed and keep stacking it with the heavy attack. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. But she does need crits also to, to gain prowess, which is where this matchup comes in as a bit of a problem. Um, not taking any damage so far. Just about. Okay. I guess this is going to showcase like the shock damage. This is all shock damage. And a special one, but that doesn't count. Yeah, and as you can see, it just stacks and just gets even. <laughs> 7k per tick. 8k per tick. Yeah, she's done. It didn't even get to 10k, but like this is this is the main matchup I wanted to test her against to see how she out damages Wolverine's regen here. Um, it may just get to a point where the shot just out damages it. Um, if I can keep it going, but if not, maybe like a special two crit might be able to do it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Somehow that didn't reach. Did that one reach? Nope. Fine, we'll start over. They don't seem, wanna, seem to want to let me parry. Okay, I missed the re-parry there. Come on. There we go. a massive downfall is that her heavy just has no reach yeah and then he's just gonna regenerate all back not ideal 
not ideal at all, but she's still building up the prowess as you can see, we're on like 20, and because we keep doing heavies, we just, uh, we keep stacking them. Yeah, this guy just does not, does not want to let me parry at all. I reckon at this point, whoops, um, a special two probably kills. If I get the crit on the special two, it kills. Or, or, or no crit works. <laughs> it works. Um, so yeah, the, also the point that I think a lot of people miss now is the despair mastery, right? Because all of the debuffs you got on the opponent, it's just going to reduce their, um, their healing to nothing. So not only am I reducing their healing, but I'm also out damaging any healing they would get anyway. So she's still pretty crazy. I mean, she did have a buff, didn't she? Um, and they changed her animations and everything. Um, that was quite a while ago now, I think. Alright, let's, let's play SP2 here. Black Bolt, come on. Thank you. There we go. Seventy four K. All right. And this probably kills. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, she's a. Uh, she's just an absolute powerhouse. To be honest, she's got you know her immunity. She's also got the. Um, I think she. Oh no! It's it's, it's the um, horseman synergy in that that's reducing the damage to zero when we bleed. But yeah, she pairs really well with the uh, Mr. Sinister Relic, just because he puts the bleed on her so she can gain a few extra prowesses. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't make a massive difference. Um, it just looks better here because we've got Horseman Denji. So like two prowesses on top of the massive prowess that Apocalypse gives her, it's, it's going to look really insane. Right. Let's get this off. Didn't get the crit on the last hit, unfortunately. Fine. Yeah, we just like melted in. Didn't even need the SP2 just for finesse. So we lost 2% health because I kept missing parries. But it's, I mean, you see how it, you see how it works, right? It's just, basically, use your special one, do a bunch of heavies, build up to an SP2, the fight's over. That's Realm of Legends. If you were to take her into Act 7, uh, I mean, this is a 7 star rank 2, so even, even 7 star rank 1, or maybe uh, 6 star rank 4 or 5, like, with the Horseman Synergy, do that rotation. Without the Horseman Synergy, just keep building to SP2s and try and use your heavies to maintain the prowess. And, uh... Yeah, you could take her into Act 6, Act 7, Act 8. Uh, and she's just, she's just going to destroy everything. Uh, she's got her shock immunity as well, uh, which is pretty helpful. Um, and even in shock immune matchups, she just has crazy like crit damage because of the prowess. Um, so you just want high crit chance, basically. I mean, that's that's why for the, the 7 star, um, I have the precision, like stat focus. Um, which increases her crit rating by 3%. Not massive, but um, I mean, her what, what is her crit rate right now? Yeah, it's, okay, it's on. It's decent. It's decent. 31% 30, is all right. Plus the, the, like the 3% I'm getting for... So we, we get 34%, right? Could probably be higher if I change masteries, uh, but I think the max would probably be like 36, 37%. Um, and then obviously you have uh, synergies that increase crit rating probably by like 5% or something. Um, actually, no, I can just check them here, can't I? Can I? Yes. Yeah, so all champions gain 155 crit rating. That's probably about 5%. Uh, or, uh, maybe less. But yeah, so 
she's she's an absolute powerhouse of a champion. I just thought I'd showcase it because she's really fun to play. Um, I do have a few other champions. I have Bullseye that I could test out. Uh, Elsa Bloodstone is uh, rank 3. She's rank 3 now. She's not awakened, unfortunately, but she's rank 3. Um, we also have... What else do we have? Onslaught. We've got Juggernaut maxed out and uh, Ascended as well. Um, I still don't think I've done a, a video on Captain America Infinity War. We've got Werewolf by Night now that's that's ranked up. Um, also got Cersei, because she's really annoying for Battlegrounds as a defender. Uh, with her glancing, so... Uh, I could I could give her a shot if I learn how to use her. Um, I don't think there's anybody else I particularly need to use. I mean, I could use America Chavez in offense and try and test her out um, in a video or something. And Colossus could be quite fun, but that's that's about it. I, I really can't really go further than that. Um, so it's just a, anyone above Colossus essentially um, that's decent. I could I could do a video on. So let me know in the comments um, down below what I should do next as a video if if, if I have time. Um, I just thought I'd do a video today because I haven't put any MCRC content out there in a while. Um, so I thought, why not do a video rather than a, a stream, just to jump straight back into it. Um, but maybe maybe I will stream again, but I'm not sure um, when. I could maybe stream, I think probably on weekends, and it'll be this setup. So it'll be the obvious setup with my camera in the corner, in the bottom left corner, uh, which unfortunately I know does take up the the space of the uh, power bar that I have, uh, like my, my character's power bar, but it's it, we gotta work with what we got. Um, oh, I just have no face cam, but I've, I've had face cam for the past few years, so I don't, I don't particularly want to change that. Um, and so, yeah, this is gonna have to be the setup. Um, the chat box um, will be on the right hand side, so I guess that will. <laughs> I guess I'll also cover the opponent's power bar as well. I don't think you really need to see the power bar. Right? Right? I mean, if I use a special 2, I think you can probably assume that I have a special 2 there. Like, <laughs> there's no there's no hacks in the game that gives you special attacks when you don't actually have them. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't think you need to see the power bars. I mean, you can you probably see it through chat anyway. Um, but I, I, I don't know how many people focus on power bars when I'm... when you know, a streamer is playing the game. Um, I think they're just focusing on the gameplay and the animations, really, and whatever the streamer's saying. Um, but anyway, I'm talking far too much. Um, I will uh, hopefully see you guys soon. Um, the the MCOC lot. I haven't abandoned you, don't worry. Um, if you like the video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already for more gaming content. Um, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Alright, bye-bye.